Hey, what's going on guys? This is Youth Man. In this video, we're gonna be doing an unboxing and a brief overview of Definitive Technologies' brand new DN12 subwoofers. Now these subwoofers look really cool, so I'm excited to test these out over the next coming weeks, get these set up and do some uh, measurements on them as well, just to see how they perform in a home theater environment and possibly even some two channel setup. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Michael Stevens with Youth Man Reviews. I do home theater tips, tours, as well as product reviews like this one. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, well, enough talking. Let's get to some unboxing. So just briefly, we'll go over all the specs here in just a little bit. But these have a active 12 inch driver. And then it also has two passive 12 inch drivers. So hopefully what that's going to do is give us plenty of output having three 12 inch um, definitive technology claims that these are basically they'll have as much output as I believe a single 18 ported. So that's a pretty big claim. So I can't wait to get these unboxed and we'll find out. We'll put them to the test. So we're going to put this on the ground, make it a little bit easier. They're not super heavy, so that's a good thing. So up here on top, we've got the three prong power IEC power cable. Got the owner's manual here. Oh, I like this. Check this out, guys. Oh, that feels sweet. We're gonna take a closer look at that in a minute. Man, that is slick. I love the way that feels. So that's a remote control. We've got volume up and down. We've got a mute, phase, EQ, display, and then low pass settings. Guys, that's pretty dope. I like that. All right. So the cool thing is it's actually upside down right now, so that's gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna put this back on, do what I always do. We'll flip this over upside down. Just like that. And we can just lift the box right off the top. There we go. Okay. So again, it's not too heavy, so it shouldn't be too difficult to get this off of there. There we go. Oh yeah, man, they got this nice little velvet here. All right, let's go ahead and remove the cloth cover here. Let's take a look what we got. Ooh, dude, this looks sweet, guys. Holy cow. I like the design of this. We've got a matte black up here. We'll take a closer look at this in just a second, but man, I like that. Now the one thing I don't like, I can't take the grills off. I like seeing the woofers, man. So we may not have much that we can look at. I'll have to show you some diagrams online. Now before we take a look at the specs, here's a word from our show sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with tens of thousands of classes for creators, business professionals, and people that are looking to learn new skills. Some of the classes include creative writing, film and video, graphic design, music, photography, website development, as well as entrepreneurship, leadership, and management and marketing. Now, I've been using Skillshare for several months, and I recently completed a course with Greg McEwen on simple productivity, how to accomplish more with less. Now, in the video, he shares, if you don't prioritize your life, someone else will. This class has helped me to decide what things in my schedule are essential, eliminate what's not, and it's provided me with the tools to get more done by being focused on what's most important. This class was only 45 minutes, but was full of tips that I can use to enhance my weekly productivity. Now, one thing I love about each Skillshare class is you can go at your own pace. You can choose to either go through a class from start to finish, or you can jump directly to a section to learn a specific skill or a technique. Most classes are under 60 minutes with short lessons to fit any schedule. Skillshare is offering to the first 1,000 of my subscribers that click on the link in the description, you'll get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. All right, taking a look at the back of the amp plate, we've got controls at the top for volume, phase, EQ, display, as well as various settings for our low pass filter. 
Below that we have three options. You can choose auto, which auto senses the signal when you turn on your AVR or your processor and it'll turn on the subwoofer. You can choose to leave it on all the time or you can use the bottom option, which is a 12 volt trigger. If you choose to use the 12 volt trigger option, your AVR or processor needs to have 12 volt trigger outputs and you'll connect a mono cable from that trigger output all the way to the subwoofer into the 12 volt trigger input. Below that we have our standard unbalanced RCA line inputs. If you're using this for home theater, you'll use the LFE input. Below that is a USB service port for updating the firmware. At the very bottom left, we have our main power on and off, a fuse, and then to the right of that, we have our three prong IEC power port. Now, if your AVR or processor is older and it does not have line level outputs like a sub out, you'll need to use the high level inputs on the subwoofer. All right, so now I wanna show you something really cool about the Descend DN12. Remember that handy little remote that I showed you at the beginning of the video? Well, check this out. We're gonna go through the different options of the remote control, and you may wonder, well, Michael, where is the display? Boom, check that out, guys. They've got a little LED display right behind the grill cloth, and so we've got volume for up and down using the remote control. Right below that, we've got a mute button. So you can see it says mute, just very faded. We'll unmute that. Next, we can adjust the phase. Now these go in 45 degree increments. So as you keep hitting the button, you'll see it just keeps increases by 45. And then we can get into the negative numbers as well and then back to zero. The next option is EQ. So we have three options here. So these are presets. We've got one for flat, one for loud, and one for deep. Next option we have is display. So we've got a few options here. If you set it to off, if you leave it for about 10 seconds, actually it's about five seconds, you'll see the display goes black. And then if you hit another option, you'll see the, the uh, display comes back on. And then a few seconds later, it shuts off again. Another option, if you wanna leave the display on, you can change it to either max, dim one, or dim two. Now each one of those three options will remain on at all times. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that back to off. And at the bottom of the remote, we've got our low pass filter. So that's your crossover setting. So we can go anywhere from 40 Hertz all the way up to 150 Hertz. And then we can also set it to LFE if you're using the LFE channel on the rear of the subwoofer and that bypasses the internal crossover in the subwoofer. By putting the display behind the grill cloth allows this to be just a very unassuming and just a beautiful clean look for any home theater or two channel setup. The DN12 only comes in one finish and that's midnight black. It has a 12 inch active long throw woofer as well as two 12 inch passive radiators. The bottom has four large permanently installed rubber feet. The dimensions of the DN12 are almost a cube. We're looking at 18.72 inches by 18.04 inches by 19.09 inches. The DN12 has a built-in 500 watt continuous amplifier with a peak wattage of 1500 and it's a class H design. And the DN12 is rated down to 25 Hertz. The DN12 retails for $11.99 and I'll have a link for it down in the description below. Now I'm really excited to get these set up and calibrated and hear how they sound in a home theater environment as well as for movies. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I'll be doing a full review in a coming video. Well I hope you guys have a great week. God bless and we'll catch you in the next video.